very interesting table in the light of the events these days when Obama, the states, try to collect coalition against Daesh. Some say that it is a little bit of world war. So what we have is interesting. We have here the sentence once in the Torah, Take, which might, Milchemet Olam. You have your Olam like this and Olam like this, Olam. Now, Milchemet Olam, World War, this is once in the Torah. And interesting, we found out the same skip is in Take, which might. Now, what we have is interesting, as we said, Islamic. So comes here, minimal in the Torah, the word Islami. You can see in yellow. And this is a minimal skip of Islam in the Torah, and also minimal of this, and best meeting. So this itself also makes the table very significant. And also what is interesting is that we have a quite small skip, Tavshin INA next year, which is 775. Can be a year, really, when we see this strongly coming out. And as we said, next year, sabbatical year, very suitable year for Messiah, for Mashiach, but as we said, unfortunately, if Israel don't keep Torah properly, and no Shabbos and so on, what is Torah requires, God requires, so it can turn to be really World War, like the time of Second World War was, according to many indications, could be a time of Messiah. But unfortunately, because the fight against Torah and so on, it turned to be Holocaust. So we have really Milchemet Olam next year, which is, as we said, very significant year. And Chaz Shalom. we hope it will not happen, but still there is a warning, Iyum, you see, it's written Iyum, of World War, Islamic, and as we know quite well, in many places, that this is connected with Messiah, by the way, also Iran here, because Iran also from Shiatic, from the side of the Shia, Islam also against Israel, and also this is a Sunnah and this is a Islam. Then we have also Mashiach here in small skip, and the interesting we have Edom. This is definitely the idea of Edom fighting against the Ishmael, and you have also the United you know, States and Mashiach. At the same time, you have the Arabs, Patach also, Patach also connected to Islam, no doubt. You have also interesting the Torah. Bachita means speaking about the end of days. Now looking more into it, we see also Hamas, as we said. This is a sentence really which says eight star time of troubles, because this is the expression in the Daniel time of trouble. But from this time of trouble can salvation can come, Messiah will come. Now looking more into this, we have here a very interesting meeting of the word Gog and Magog. It is interesting, in fact, there are two really verses, Magog and Magog, it's two verses. This is one of the best missing of the Torah, Gog and Magog. So maybe indication to who some say that Gog and Magog will be this kind of war, Edom and against Ishmael, against the Arabs. But for us, the most important thing is that such events coming in the Torah in a very significant way, indicating that everything in the Torah and everything depends on Torah, and everything depends on keeping Torah. And this is what's supposed to bring us to, especially this month of Elul, to do repentance, to Teshuvah, repentance which come here, next to this world war, because this is really, as Kabbalah said, like we have blowing of the shofar downstairs in this world, which we are doing now, Elul time, there is also up, also blowing of shofar, and these are wars and kind of events which is really supposed to stimulate us, to provoke us to to Shuvah, to do repentance. But let us hope that this is what will happen. And then we have Mashiach soon coming, saving us from all these troubles that we unfortunately are in today.